the universe has once again sent us a postcard from a distant unknown shore. In the quiet hum of astronomical surveys, a new traveler was spotted crossing into our cosmic neighborhood. On July 1, 2025, the asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System or ATLAS detected an object on a remarkable trajectory. We now call this visitor 3i Atlas, the third interstellar object ever confirmed by humanity. Unlike the planets, asteroids, comets born of our own sun, this wanderer comes from the vast, dark sea between the stars, offering a rare and precious opportunity to study the building blocks of another star system. This object is not here to stay. Its path through our solar system is what astronomers call a hyperbolic trajectory, meaning the sun's gravity is not strong enough to capture it into a permanent orbit. Instead, 3i Atlas is on a grand tour, a one-time flyby before it returns to the interstellar void. For a brief window, this object is ours to observe. Early calculations gave us a broad idea of its path but now, with more data, astronomers have refined the timeline with thrilling precision. These new dates are critical, turning a vague encounter into a well-defined scientific event. We now know the key dates for its closest approach to the Sun, an event called perihelion. The updated calculations place this moment right around October 29th or October 30th, 2025. At that point, 3i Atlas will be approximately 1.4 astronomical units from the Sun. An astronomical unit, or AU, is the average distance from the Earth to the Sun, about 150 million kilometers. This is a safe distance but close enough for the Sun's warmth to work its magic on the object's surface. Before perihelion, 3i Atlas will make a significant pass by a planetary neighbor. The timeline shows a close approach to Mars on October 3, 2025. It will pass the red planet at roughly 30 million kilometers, about 0.2 AU. Earth will not get a close look. Our closest approach is about 1.8 AU, roughly 270 million kilometers. But our robotic presence at Mars gives astronomers a unique advantage. This interstellar visitor has given us a cosmic schedule, and the scientific community is poised to make the most of this fleeting visit. Having a precise schedule for an interstellar visitor is like knowing the exact arrival time for a train carrying precious cargo from an unknown land. These refined dates for 3i Atlas are not just numbers, they are the foundation of our observation strategy. Knowing the exact moments of the Mars flyby and the perihelion passage allows astronomers to book precious time on the world's most powerful telescopes. Ground-based observatories, Hubble Space Telescope, James Webb Space Telescope. This synchronization turns a scattered search into a coordinated global campaign. Observing time is competitive and limited. Clear timelines let teams write compelling proposals for dedicated windows. Teams plan to use specific instruments for specific signatures. One team might use a spectrometer to analyze gases boiling off the object as it nears the sun, while another team uses a powerful camera to capture high-resolution images of its coma and tail. Without a reliable schedule, we could miss time-sensitive phenomena as the object evolves. This detailed itinerary also opens the door to more ambitious possibilities, potential spacecraft missions. Launching a new probe on short notice isn't feasible, but repurposing existing spacecraft is investigated. Could a probe like Juno be nudged onto a new course after its primary mission ends? Could a solar sailing demonstrator be redirected? These are complex questions of orbital mechanics and fuel budgets. It allows engineers and scientists to dream, to explore the art of the possible. A well-defined orbit is our best tool for playing cosmic detective and tracing this object's journey backward in time. By plugging the precise trajectory into powerful computer models, we can rewind its path through the galaxy. This helps identify the potential stellar neighborhood or even the specific star system from which 3i Atlas was ejected. Did it come from a young star system still forming planets? Or was it cast out from a binary star system in a gravitational tug of war? Each new data point that refines the orbit brings us one step closer to answering where this interstellar traveler began its lonely voyage. The close pass of 3i slash Atlas by Mars is an extraordinary stroke of luck. While the object will remain far from Earth, we are fortunate to have a fleet of sophisticated robotic explorers already in orbit around the red planet. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter European Space Agency's Mars Express are equipped with powerful instruments that can be turned away from Mars and toward this passing visitor. This transforms our Martian orbiters into a dedicated deep space observatory, 
perfectly positioned to get a much closer look than we ever could from Earth. The instruments at Mars offer a fantastic suite of tools for studying 3i-Atlas. The high-resolution imaging science experiment camera on MRO, for example, is capable of resolving incredible detail. While it may not see the nucleus of 3i-Atlas as a distinct shape, it can capture stunning images of the structure within its coma, the cloud of gas and dust surrounding the nucleus. It can observe jets of material erupting from the surface as the sun's heat vaporizes its ices. Spectrometers on these orbiters can also analyze the chemical composition of this outgassing material, telling us what kinds of ices are present and in what amounts. Comparing 3i-Atlas to its interstellar predecessors Oumuamua and Borisov highlights the significance of this opportunity. Oumuamua was a mystery, it was discovered as it was already leaving our solar system and it showed no comet-like activity. We never got a good look. Borisov was our first confirmed interstellar comet, and we learned much from it. The Mars flyby of 3i-Atlas is a chance to apply lessons learned from both previous visitors. We now have a better idea of what to look for and can use our Martian assets to gather data that was impossible to obtain before. This event also serves as a compelling dress rehearsal for future, rapid response missions. It forces mission controllers to think creatively, to reprogram spacecraft for targets they were not designed to observe. The coordination required between different space agencies and science teams to execute these observations is a valuable exercise. It builds the institutional knowledge and operational agility we will need when the next interstellar object, perhaps one on a path to fly even closer, is discovered. The Mars flyby is not just a scientific opportunity, it is a test of our ability to react to the unexpected surprises the universe sends our way. We know for certain that it displays comet-like behavior. As it is drawn closer to the sun it has developed a fuzzy coma and a faint tail-clear signs that it is shedding volatile materials. This tells us the object is rich in ices that turn directly into gas when warmed a process called sublimation. This activity immediately distinguishes it from the inert rocky appearance of Oumuamua and places it firmly in the category of an interstellar comet, much like 2i Borisov. Initial spectroscopic studies have already provided clues about its makeup. Observations from large ground-based telescopes and the Hubble Space Telescope have detected the chemical fingerprint of carbon dioxide gas in its coma. The ratio of carbon dioxide to water appears to be quite high, potentially higher than what is typically seen in comets native to our own solar system, or had a different chemical composition than the birthplace of our own comets. We have also placed upper limits on the size of its nucleus, likely no more than a few kilometers in diameter. Despite what we have learned, 3i Atlas remains shrouded in mystery. Many of its fundamental properties are still unknown. We do not have a clear picture of the shape of its solid nucleus. Is it elongated like Oumuamua, or more spherical like a typical comet? We also do not know its rotation state, Gunao, how fast it is spinning and on what axis. This information is crucial for understanding its internal structure and how it has weathered its long journey through interstellar space. The detailed inventory of its ices is also incomplete. Beyond carbon dioxide, we are still searching for signatures of other exotic volatiles, perhaps the greatest unknown is its precise origin. While we can trace its trajectory backward, pinpointing a single parent star from light years away is incredibly difficult. Stars themselves are moving. Was it born in a system like our own, or did it form around a red dwarf, the most common type of star in the galaxy? These unknowns are not frustrating, they are exhilarating. They represent the very questions that drive our curiosity, the puzzles that observatories around the world are now racing to solve. Every new piece of data is a potential key to unlocking these secrets. This month, October 2025, represents a pivotal moment in our study of the cosmos. The cosmic alignment brings three, I slash Atlas near Mars, and then to its closest point to the Sun. That sequence creates a concentrated period of intense scientific activity. The close succession, Marked on the calendar, the Mars flyby around October 3rd and perihelion around October 29th is a powerful one-two punch for data collection. And then watch how the object responds to maximum solar heating weeks later. That lets us directly link changes in activity to position and environment. The scientific community is buzzing. Teams of astronomers, planetary scientists, and astrophysicists are poised to execute careful plans. Data will pour in from observatories across the globe, from the high deserts of Chile to the volcanic peaks of Hawaii. Space telescopes will dedicate precious hours breaking its faint glow into constituent colors that reveal chemistry. 
Mars mission teams will command spacecraft aiming instruments with precision to capture this fleeting encounter. It is a global collaborative effort united by wonder. Studying a visitor like 3i slash Atlas helps us understand our place in the universe. By analyzing composition of an object from another star system, we glimpse planetary diversity across the galaxy. Are the building blocks, icy bodies like comets, or does each star system cook up its own unique recipe? Answering these refines our models of planet formation. Each interstellar object is a new data point, a messenger from afar. This story is unfolding in real time. The coming weeks will be filled with discovery as new images and spectra are analyzed and shared. Scientists will be watching closely, ready to be surprised. This event is a reminder the universe is active and we have the tools to witness rare events. So, follow along, keep an eye on news from NASA, the ESA, and observatories worldwide. The sky offers new wonders, and 3i-Atlas is the latest guest at our door. Let's see what it has to tell us.